Unbelievable. President Muhammadu Buhari tells Nigerians what he's doing in London after getting so much harassment to come back home and use the medical health system in Nigeria. My wonderful people, less than a week ago, almost a week, President Muhammadu Buhari left Nigeria to go into the United Kingdom for his own personal medical health check. Okay, and then um, he says this is what he does routinely. And the question is, if you have so much trust in these doctors because they are in London or because of whatever, can't you replicate London in Nigeria is the question. Guess what? He is even living in Nigeria in a time and as a situation where the country is in dying need of leadership. So much so that he left a day let later, doctors in his very own country where he's supposed to be the president, the number one citizen, went on strike. Do you know how many people have died between that day and up until now? For people who urgently need medical attention, could not even pay for a visa, how much more? Get into a plane and begin to travel abroad. Now he's trying to do what we call distraction saying these are the other things he's doing in London is not just there for medical attention. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Buhari breaks silence. Reveal what he's doing in London to distract Nigerians who are asking him to go back home. Few weeks back, it was on the news that President Muhammadu Buhari left for the United Kingdom for medical checkup. But today, President Muhammadu Buhari decides to speak from London, so to let Nigerians know what he's actually doing in London. According to Punch reports, President Muhammadu Buhari made it clear to Nigerians today that he's presently in London, United Kingdom, to take a short rest. Eh? Well done for rest, though. This was made known today in the statement that were released by the President Muhammadu Buhari's senior special assistant on media and publicity. Garu Bashiwu is no longer medical attention or, or medical checkup. Or. The president disclosed this in a letter. They said, I thought they said he spoke to Nigerians. In a letter he wrote to the king of um, Jordan, King Abdus, Abdullahi, with regards to sending him messages. It should be recalled that earlier this month, President Muhammad Buhari was said to have traveled to the United Kingdom for medical treatment or checkup. But on the other hand, if the fact is that Buhari has really traveled to the UK for a short rest, why is he being between opinions, rest or medical attention? But if you are going on a short rest, you should have walked before resting. What work exactly has Buhari done in Nigeria? What contribution, meaningful contribution, has he made that actually he has done so well and so he needs rest? These are some of the questions being posed by Nigerians to President Muhammadu Buhari. What work exactly have you done, brother? What work? Because we really need to know what you have done. You see, this is how they deceive the country left, right, and center, and they just go away scot-free. Nobody, nobody comes out to say what you have done is wrong. This is not acceptable. This is what you should do. There is no records for you know uh, accountability. That is one thing, serious issue that our country lack. No accountability. Nobody is held responsible for actions that they have taken. It's really a very sad reality. Buhari left this country telling Nigerians that, I mean, maybe they didn't think about the, they didn't know that there was going to be backlash, right? And they didn't know that Nigerians in the UK are going to be staging Buhari must go, uh, you know, uh, campaign. And so they are, so they are very surprised that this is happening. And guess what? They have changed their mouth now. This morning, uh, uh, Garuba Shew has sent message to the punch that uh, Buhari is no longer there for medical attention. He is there for a short rest. And we want to really wonder and ask, how many Nigerians have the... I know you are the president, so nobody is disputing that fact. How many Nigerians actually have the privilege to actually go for rest? Is there a need to rest when things... Can you go to rest when your house is on fire? I don't think any sane person will go and rest and lie down when your house is on fire. Do you know what will happen? The house will collapse eh? with, the, with the fire caving right into you. So no sane human being will do that without thinking about the consequences except our government. Oh yes, 
Nigerian government does it so excellently well without even thinking. So you see, unless we begin to hold these people to accountability and there's responsibility on their side, until we get to that place where we can reduce the power of even the Senate and give more records of power to the people in the, in the institute of either vote or some measures to put in place for them to become accountable and responsible. I really doubt it seriously if we will be able to get through with this set of people. They rather look like a brick wall. You know, getting through them just fine, just actually feels so impossible. It takes God to really get through to this set of people who come out and tell you they are leading you. But actually, ah, it takes God to really get, I'm telling you because if you look at what these uh, people, are, what Nigerians are going through in the hands of those people who are called government, you will wonder if really, truly, you know, uh, uh, things are going to change anytime soon. You know, the youth of this country spoke out. They came out in mass and said, no, enough of the harassment, enough of the embarrassment. We cannot take it anymore. Please, can we have a referendum? Can we just have, uh, uh, can we, can things be different? And guess what? Ah, Nigerians, the way Nigerian government descended on the youths, do you know how many people that died? How many people that still have bullets? Uh, well, of course, by now they would have taken it off their body. So people had bullet wounds in their body. Go and investigate. It was not an easy time. People went through a lot. Yes, Nigerians went through a lot. People died. People lost their children. Yet the federal government came and said nothing happened. Lying in the face of all that they have done. And you think that everything will just go on without any form of um, accountability or they paying for what they have done. It may take time, I, get, get, I, I tell you sincerely. It may actually take time for them to be brought to justice. However, that time will come. It may look like it's taking forever. It may look like, oh, when are we going to actually get them to be accountable to us? But guess what? Someday, somehow, I cannot tell you when, it's going to happen. A president who is not responsible. And guess what? All the ministers, every one of them, quiet, and just, you know, nobody's even speaking against it. That what you have done is wrong. You know, the only person I've really heard vocally speaking against this is Nusom Wike, who said he cannot imagine himself going outside this country for medical checkup. And that's why he's putting, uh, you know, Cross River Medical uh, Center as the best, one of the best in the, in the country. Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.